in the car on our way for a few days camping uh, in I think technically the bit we're going to be camping in is Wine Wine State Forest but it's also Nightcap National Park kind of weaves its way through there so um, the, probably the thing that's most famous about this is Minion Falls which is a big drop waterfall which I wasn't very optimistic about there being any water in it at all but we had a big storm come through last night and drop a lot of rain and uh, so I'm keeping fingers crossed that uh, there might be a bit of water in it. We're going to probably make our way back here tomorrow morning for sunrise. That's east that way, so with any luck, we might get something nice. We've got up for uh, sunrise at Minion Falls and 
I don't know if you could see there, but there's cloud on the horizon. So, yeah. <laughs> colors, but not to worry. Uh, yeah, it rained all night. All night. Was it supposed to? There was supposed to be like 0.3 of a mil, but it rained all night. It doesn't seem to have made a whole lot of difference to the water flow. <laughs> um, had a really fun night between uh, the group of people that decided they needed to yibber yabber and have music and laugh and carry on till like about three or four in the morning to uh, you know discovering I had a tick on my back it's it's been fun <laughs> anyway here we are now I uh, I'll get my camera out there's a little tiny nice bit of uh, fog just in the valley but I'll see if there's anything I can get once the mm, it's gonna be a little while before the Sun actually breaks through I think but, uh, yeah, we'll see how we go so the Sun did break through uh, a hole there. I was busily taking photos looking out at the view with my ultra wide 16 to 35 mil uh, lens. I'm just waiting for it to come back out again so I can um, take some photos of the falls with a bit of sunlight on them. Um, I'm going to be, let's see if I can show you. trying some compositions first with this tree looking over the falls um, and then trying to look through let's see if we can go down here look through here <laughs> this is not very successful there we go and to get that tree and the falls. But yes, could really use some uh, direct light. So the sun came out um, and I took some shots handheld, but I made a rookie mistake. Naughty. I forgot to turn my image stabilization back on after taking it off the tripod which makes quite a difference. And then I didn't go in and make sure and check that my shots were sharp. So I've got lots of nice little blurry handheld photos. It's awesome. So I'll just wait for the sun to come back out again and hopefully get some more. Don't do what I do. Always check your photos. Make sure they're sharp. Zoom in. Okay, so it looks like I think all the sun's gone for the day. The day, the morning, for now. <laughs> anyway, the clouds have all come over. So we're gonna head back to the campsite and make some breakfast. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, uh, if you can give it a thumbs up, that'd be awesome. Uh, if you're a regular watcher, but you haven't subscribed, uh, that would also be really cool if you could do that. Hit the subscribe button. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Uh, next video should be from here too. So stick around, uh, keep an eye out. Maybe not stick around because it could be about a week before that one gets out. But yeah, keep an eye out for that one. All right, catch you next time. Bye.
<clears throat> so what? <laughs> I wait to clear my throat till that time. In order to get the tree, I'm needing to angle down. Oh, look at this. Got a leech on my face. Ew, look at that. Gross. Everyone wants a leech on their face. Awesome. Yeah, you can go away, little sucker. I think I'm going to have to pull him off. Excuse me while I do that, and I'll probably go and take some photos. I have a leech on my leg yesterday too, which um, didn't bleed, so I don't know whether I got it right at the start or what. But, uh, you know what? I'll take the leeches, but you can have the ticks. You can keep the ticks. No.